Hey everybody, it's uh, Chef Will Gote on the menu with me. I'm going to show you how to make pasta. This is for my boy Mike, Mike Haro. Hey dude, check this out. This is the deal. Some of the best pasta you can get. Pretty damn tasty sauce too. And if you look at this, no sugar added. So... If you're looking at carbs, then this is what you want to do, okay? Stick around. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pasta. Now, I always use filtered water. And for pasta, you really should get an eight-quart pot, um, which is two gallons. And uh, because you want more water than you need so that the starch in the pasta doesn't make it gummy. So get a two-quart pot, all right? Fill it up. Add some salt. All right? You want to use a good amount of salt, all right? So like maybe a tablespoon of salt in, two, in a two-gallon pot of water, right? Bring that to a boil. Like I told you, I like to use Barilla pasta, okay? It's one of the better ones that at least I've found. I like the flavor. They do make a gluten-free. They do make a whole grain pasta. They make a wheat pasta. And all of them are really good. This is just a regular one. Um, I'm going to use fettuccine because that's the texture that I like. And I'm going to use this sauce with some scurps. And this is the kind of scurps I'm using, all right? Uh, you can get them fresh at the counter. Um, and these are 16, 20, which means there are 16 to 20 in a pound, which are almost an ounce each. Okay, so they're pretty big shrimp. Well, oh, these are huge. Um, I thawed them in the refrigerator. I'm going to run them under some cold water. When the sauce is hot, I just add them to the sauce and leave them in a couple minutes. And it makes perfect, perfect shrimp, okay? You don't have to cook them before. You don't have to overcook them, okay? Um, don't do that. Just enjoy them, like, you know, nice and pink, and they're perfect. Here, I'm putting in some cold water in the bag, and I cut a couple of holes in the bottom so that it could drain. So you see, this shrimp is actually pretty big. I mean, I have a big hand, um, and I like the tail on. I think it gives it more flavor, and it helps with the presentation, all right? If you want to tail off, you can just do that, and... Pull the tail off. See, I did that one here. I always spray the pan, especially with a tomato sauce. So you can use a little bit of olive oil. And save those packets. You know, you get the pizza, save the Parmesan and the chili peppers, um, because that's what I'm gonna use in the sauce. I want it spicy, so I'm gonna use this with the tomato sauce. And so I'm gonna cook that up first. Water's boiling, so I'm gonna put the pasta in. Then I'm gonna stir it, bring it back to a boil, cover it, 10 minutes, pasta's done. Okay, water's boiling, in goes the pasta. So now I just want to make sure that the pasta is underneath the water, all right? I mix it around a little bit, not too stuck together. Now we bring it to a second boil. After you add the pasta and you stir it, what you're gonna do is, it's probably gonna take like two to three minutes to come back to a boil. As soon as it boils, you uncover it, stir it, cover it back up and turn it off and time it for 10 minutes. You guys, you can't fuck this up. You really can if you follow this, okay? Stop being so weird and brutal with pasta. You don't have to throw it against the wall. If you throw pasta against the wall and it sticks, it's not cooked, it's overcooked. All right, pasta is boiling, right? I'm gonna make sure that I am releasing it from itself. I'm gonna separate the pasta. You see, that took three minutes, okay? A little less than three minutes. I turned it off. And cover it. Now you time it for 10 minutes. That's it. Pasta's done. So now I'm going to cook that up a little bit till it starts to bubble. Then I'm going to add the tomato sauce. Here we have the roasted garlic barilla sauce. See the peppers are just starting to cook. See that? I don't want them to burn. So I'm going to add the tomato sauce. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to let this heat up. And when it heats up, I'll add the shrimp. Now, obviously, the pasta is going to be cooked al dente because that's what I want. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm not going to eat all the pasta, but I'm going to save some for tomorrow. I can make a pasta salad. I can make a, pa a breakfast pasta. Um, or I can use the pasta with another sauce. If you want to cook it longer, just let it soak a little longer. You know, it's not going to take you very long. So anyway, um, here goes because it's going to ring right now. Ten minutes. Now, check this out. Look. Look at that. See that? You see the white around the edge of the pasta? 
Okay, that lets you know it's cooked. The yellow in the in middle lets you know that it's still al dente, but I'm gonna cook it with the sauce. So like that, the sauce will be absorbed in the pasta. And never put oil in the water. Never. Never. Never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, 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 never. Drain the pasta. Now, I'm gonna put the pasta that I wanna eat back in the pot. This pasta I'm cooling off completely because I'm gonna refrigerate it for tomorrow. And let it drain. Here, I have the shrimp. I'm gonna add some sauce. All right and toss this around and heat it up. This is the leftover pasta. I put it in a Ziploc bag and I put a little bit of oil in it. Okay, now it goes in the fridge and you can keep it up to three days. Here, I've got the shrimp that are cooking with the sauce and the pasta and you just want the shrimp to turn pink. And that's it and they're done. One, two minutes more, All right? That is done. You see that the shrimp are nice and pink. Yeah, now I'm gonna serve it. And here you go. And here's the pasta. And it is so easy. I want to try a shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The pasta. Still got a little bite. Al dente. Mike! Mike, Mike, Mike! This is for you, bro. Enjoy. Mm. Let me get some Parmesan cheese. Here you go. Pasta with red sauce and shrimp. Amazing. Mikey, you gotta make this. Well, all of you gotta make this, but anyway, Chef Will Gote on the menu. Pasta perfectly cooked with red sauce, kind of an arrabbiato because of the chili peppers, and some shrimp. Delicious. And what, 15 minutes total? Can't beat it.